Hi, this is Barbara Michelle, and I'm here to with another junk journal flip through. This one is made. This journal is made using a Tim Holtz paper pad, and it's double doubled up. I glued the two two of the papers from the pad together to give it a little bit more sturdiness. And then on the front, I also attached or glued down these two postage stamps. And it's bound. It's a single single signature journal. On the front, I have a little postcard. Um, this is not really a postcard. I believe it's just like from a paper pad. It's a cut apart, but I did add a little vintage stamp to it. I have a guest check and a little tag. This is a little page from an English Spanish book. So, paper bag, a beautiful map of the West Indies, a little tuck spot there, lined paper, book page, and some. That's pretty thick, actually. Thick ledger paper. Vintage, probably. Probably. I know I got that at an estate sale. It looks pretty vintage. The coloring is beautiful all on its own. More ledger paper. This one's thinner, though. A large index card and a dictionary page. An armadillo. Huh? Those are funny. A steno pad page and a children's writing practice page. More ledger paper. Again, this one is a little bit thicker, probably because it's two-sided, so that you you know when you write on one side, it doesn't quite go through. This is a thinner, one-sided lined notebook paper. Um, here, I just put an envelope. This is an envelope that I put through um, my cuddle bug and embossed, so it looks kind of like a postcard. Um, I only glued these three sides. So there's a guest check behind there. If I can get that back in there. And then I attached two stamps. And inside the envelope is just some lined notebook paper for journaling or whatever you would like to use it for. Certainly take it out of there and put whatever you like inside there. And um, I didn't want to seal the flap, so I'm just using a paper clip to hold it close. Plus, it's pretty. All right, so vellum, which covers this map page this is from a vintage, vintage book. I don't know, Rand Macaulay. Um, I don't know what year it is though. This is some cardstock, notebook paper. You can see it was torn out. Music paper, just some blank paper. So that was the center of the signature, and it'll just be the back side of those pages. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the colors. Hmm. I do have that book lying around here somewhere, and uh, so, okay, so the same thing. It's, this one's just a cream colored. It's the same uh, embossing folder. There's a little stamp there, and inside. Oh, it's a little vellum covered. This is vellum, and there's just a few little paper pads in there. That was fun. I have to say, I don't even remember making that. Hmm. That was a fun surprise for me. All right, moving on. A book page with some gardening book stuff. Ledger paper. It even says ledger right there on that one. This is an expense ledger. Lined paper, blank paper, more ledger paper, and this is some coffee dyed, probably typing paper. It always feels so much different once you coffee dye it that it's hard to tell 
what the paper was originally, but it's probably just copy paper, like, um, you know, that you would put in your printer or copy machine. Taming of the Shrew, it says. I have a Shakespeare book that I got at the library book sale. So there's some book pages from there. One of those postcards, I did put a vintage stamp on there, but this postcard is a cut apart from a scrapbooking paper pad. There's a beautiful map. I mean, look at the color of this map. This one's much newer and then this one. This is the more older one. Love it. All right, and on the back side here, we have just a cut apart. That's like for journaling. Uh, another cut apart, um, looks like postcard and a nice little tag. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like this journal and would you like to buy it, it should be available in my Etsy shop. Thanks again. Have a great day.